Just like with electric cars, the lockdown passed the entire industry of electrified two-wheelers. But hopefully, the dry spell of 2020 is coming to an end, since we have managed to gather an entire lineup of all-new electric motorcycle models. These machines come from every corner of the world and occupy spots across all classes. It is high time to jump on board with the electric revolution, so let's learn about the latest news and arrivals. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the bell and enjoy the ride! Evoke Motorcycle 6061 Already well known on the market of electric city commuters, the Hong Kong Evoke is launching its first long-range cruiser bike this year. The 6061 is built on a light twin-plate frame made from aerospace-grade aluminum and is equipped with a permanent magnet synchronous electric motor. Juiced by the industry's largest 24.8 kWh battery, it is able to produce 163 horses and is responsible for the maximum velocity over 140 mph. The mansion pack has lithium-ion cells, gets liquid cooling, and can be recharged using AC or DC power. At the max charging rate of 125 kW, the process takes just 15 minutes. According to Evoke, the 6061 is suitable for riding both around the city and an open road, covering from 165 to 290 miles. It also comes with full LED headlights, DRLs, and four piston caliper brakes by Che Huan. Zero Motorcycles SRS While the traditional manufacturers of sports bikes, Ducati, Kawasaki and Lightning are still just teasing their electric models, Zero once again becomes the industry's pioneer by releasing the first mass-market offering. The SRS is basically a fully fared version of the SRF Sports Naked with aerospace-inspired design and look. The latest generation 7510 Z-Force motor makes compelling 110 horsepower and 140 pound-feet of peak torque, while the 14.4 kWh battery with a power tank add-on ensures 200 miles of CP riding. As a proper performer, the Zero is suspended by fully adjustable Showa 43mm separate function forks and Showa 40mm piggyback reservoir. The stopping power comes from the Bosch Advanced Motorcycle Stability Control paired with J. Juan 4 and single piston calipers. The model comes in standard and premium versions, the only difference being the availability of fast charging function at 6 kW. Urbat Nura The Spanish company Urbat targets the entry-level e-bikes niche, and their latest motorcycle Nura offers one of the best value-for-money ratios in the segment. The model is equivalent in performance to a 125cc bike, and it is equipped with a reliable Bosch Hub QS 8kW electric motor. Paired to a 7.2kWh battery system, this powertrain peaks at 20 horsepower and delivers the maximum speed of 87mph. Depending on the style of riding, you can expect up to 118 miles of range on a single charge. Design-wise, the Nura hides its electric nature under modern angular bodywork with a sharp windscreen. The standard equipment list includes full LED headlights, double disc brakes up front, ABS and LCD instrument cluster. The company is yet to reveal the charging time for the bike, but we already know that it will be compatible with Type 2 connectors. Cake Cock Inc. The Swedes absolutely knocked the competition out of the park when they released the premium spec Cock Ore back in 2018 and followed it up with an Ant Road Legal model a year later. Their next creations are more affordable but just as impressive the Ink and its road version Ink SL. The two trade the Cox all in suspension for the MX fork and shock absorber with 200 and 205mm of travel, respectively but they do keep the same powertrain. The 15 HP motor, 2.5 kWh battery and a chain drivetrain with an 8AT3 or sprocket, warrant 50 to 56 mph top speed and up to 3 hours of enduro riding. Additionally, the Inc is 30 pounds chubbier, though the wheels are claimed to be more stable. As per cake, you can get additional battery for 3000 extra dollars, 
and the delivery time for the inks is close to 4 weeks. Tower 4 Maluna Offered in two distinctive looks, Scrambler and Race, the Luna is a modular all-electric bike created by Brooklyn-based startup Tarform that is led by race engineers and industrial designers and is funded by the EU program. Obviously, the model can accommodate a variety of bodyworks, but it can also fit different capacity batteries. As standard, the Luna comes powered by a 10kWh pack that cooperates with a 55hp electric motor. The setup ensures solid performance specs, 19 pH top speed, 3.8 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration, and a maximum range of 120 miles. The two wheelers construction focuses on sustainability and innovation. So most of the body panels are made from flax seed weave and composites. The frame is CNC machined aluminum, while the seat is biodegradable vegan leather. Other equipment on the bike includes a high-end Allen suspension, ISR brakes, and an HD display with Bluetooth. Do not think twice about supporting the electric revolution, so click the like button and watch this episode till the very end. Let's get back to it. Kuburg Ranger Kuburg is already a successful e-bike manufacturer from Czech Republic, and their new Ranger model is a crossbreed between an electric scooter and a dirt bike. The first thing that you should notice in the Ranger is its wheels. A 19-inch front and 14-inch rear. Such a combination lowers the bike's center of gravity and gives you superior stability while going off-road. The model also benefits from a fully reclining seat, which is adjustable with the press of a button. The Ranger is suspended by 180mm forks up front and a TNM burner shock absorber. It gets three available packages. The standard has an 11 HP motor and regenerative braking. The race trim increases the power to 19 horses and adds fenders, kickstand and a reclining seat. While the most expensive adventure arrives with everything mentioned and adds a trailer that allows you to tow up to 66 pounds of cargo. Yet Three Motorcycles Project Zero Inspired by the looks of classic cafe racers from 1960s, the Project Zero is Nepal's first electric bike that is developed and produced in the country. The model sits on a confident carbon fiber and steel chassis, gets carbon fiber bodywork and sports a vintage-style headlight that uses LEDs. The source of the bike's propulsion is a 40 horsepower motor coupled with a battery pack of undisclosed size. According to Yatri, this system is good for 143 miles of riding and capable of fast charging, regaining 100% of the battery capacity in 2 hours. Other technologically advanced features of the bike are its 7-inch automotive HD display with navigation and a company-developed application that connects the model to your smartphone. Yatri Motorcycles plans to launch small-scale production by the end of 2020. But the bike will be limited to just 50 units within its first year on the market. Fonsarelli NKT Australia's native Fonsarelli has been manufacturing retro-looking electric scooters for a decade now, so it is high time for them to enter the bigger league of electric motorcycles. The NKD abandons the usual step-through design in favor of a high frame with stripped-down rugged bodywork. The naked two-wheeler is brought to life by a mid-mounted motor and a frame-concealed battery in four configurations – NKD A, S, Plus and X. The entry-level unit is a docile scooter with 31 miles range and 50 mph top speed, while the flagship X boasts the credentials to 16 horsepower, 124 miles and 62 mph top speed. Believe it or not, but Australians are actually marketing this funds as the smallest dual sport motorbike in the class. But unfortunately, we do not get much details about the rear shock and front fork, beside them being adjustable and sports packed. Ambula 1 One of the main reasons why many motorcycle enthusiasts refuse to adopt electrification is the throbbing power and sound that only a torquey combustion engine can generate. 
The Italian concept Ambula 1 resolves this problem with its proprietary McFly system. In simple words, this is a sophisticated emulator of IC powertrains which incorporates a virtual gearbox, foot gear shifter, clutch levers, and adjustments of the power delivery. With a simple swipe on the 8-inch dashboard, you can switch between an 800cc 4-stroke twin engine with 77 horsepower, a 600cc inline 4 with 100 horsepower, and a 250cc 2-stroke mill emulating 58 ponies. To make the emulation realistic, the bike has a subwoofer placed in the chassis for vibration and rear speakers responsible for exhaust sound. Without the simulation, the Amula behaves like a high-performance electric bike capable of 155 mph top speed. Catalus EV500 and EV1000 If you fancy riding on a log, or as the designers call it, the motorbike inspired by the World War II era fighter, then probably this would be a two-wheeler of your dreams. The Indonesia design studio took a Salas Garuda e-scooter, threw away the original frame and swing arm, and rebuilt it beyond recognition. The Catalyst EV is represented in the naked aluminum EV500 version and the newer, more powerful EV1000. The names correspond with the power output of the bike's single rear hub motor, which is juiced by 48 volt 45 ampere hour battery. Unfortunately, with the humble specifications and 10 grand price tag, the Catal CV is likely to remain a personal style accessory rather than a true city commuter. Novus Bike Let us get it out of the way right away. With price tag of 40 grand, the Novus is not aiming at becoming your next daily ride. Instead, this is a unique machine that explores new engineering and design approaches of e-bike manufacturing that might seep into the mass market someday. The monocoque exoskeleton does double duty as a body, and in essence is a single piece of carbon fiber. The suspension system is concealed as well, not to disturb the unibody look. Up front there is a proprietary 90mm mono fork, while the rear swing arm utilizes an air damper with 110mm travel with rebound and compression adjustment. The 165-pound Novus is powered by hub motor fully integrated into the rear carbon rim. It is 24 horsepower strong and would ensure 75 mph top speed. Those prices are painfully high, aren't they? Share your thoughts about these newcomers in the comment section and mention your top picks. Support the electric revolution and possible price drops by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel. Automotive Territory is here to bring you more electric news on a regular basis. May the torque be with you!